So this is my room tour review of E736 on Piano Britannia. First of all, you've got your letterbox here, which is illuminated by your room number. This is where you get your Horizon magazine and your keycard on your first day. And any important information is left in here as well. Room key, electronic key, insert, green light, open. A lot like most hotels. Now as you come into your room, you've got your electronic key slot there. I have the make up my room card resting. So you need to put this every day in this slot so they can make your room up. Or if you fancy a lay in, pop that in there. I just use it as the electronic the electronic key. Um, got a lock there on your door. Safety information there if you want to read that. Pause the video. Light switch is here, so this is the main light. So you'll see the one for the wardrobe come on there. And a lot of the main rooms. Lights on there. And there's another set of lights there. This is the main one above the bed that goes on uh, with that second switch. I'll turn that one back off. Uh, first of all, we'll look at the wardrobe. Um, as I call it, the wardrobe, yeah, the wardrobe area. Got your life vest there. Walk yeah, walking wardrobe, and Mrs. T says, correcting me properly. Um, as you see, plenty of hanging space there, and more than enough hanging space. So, everything got t shirts and shirts and Mrs. T's dresses and stuff. So, plenty of space there. Put your shoes and everything there at the bottom. There is this mat here. This is a luggage mat that's on your bed on your embarkation day. So you could put your suitcase on there. If it's a bit dirty, it doesn't dirty the, uh, the bed. So I just take this off and throw this down here. So more storage space down there for shoes and other stuff. Cupboard here, Got my socks and my underwear. There is clean underwear, so don't worry. Um, and other items, as you can see, we've not even filled that safe. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory and safe to do it. I'm not going to unlock it because it will reveal my code for it. But yeah, anyone that's used a hotel safe before, it's pretty much the same. Enter your four digits, you know, whatever you want, then lock and then re-enter it and opens up again. Above space storage there, uh, like I showed with the life vest. That's why I keep things on my backpacks for the day trips. Right, bathroom. We've got the nice big mirror there with me in the reflection. Sorry about that. And you've got storage there. You've got two glasses that are provided there for your things like your toothbrushes and everything. Toiletries, hand wash there provided. That's a provided hand wash. The water sink. Water pressure is really good in this one. We went on Iona about a year ago and the water pressure in our sink wasn't all that good. But this one seems to be very good. Extra toilet rolls, a bin, right, shower. So you've got a little handle, on the handle there, this, um, this shower mat is one you put on the floor. So when you get up with your wet feet, you're not getting them every day. There we go in here. As you can see, um, we've got a little clothes line there. Putting your, your wet, wet clothes. So if you've been swimming, put your swimming costume, trunks, whatever there. That's great to dry them out in a day. Shower pretty self-explanatory, you got temperature and pressure control. Um, white company sh um, shower gel and shampoo provided. If these run out at all on your holiday, your steward will happily replenish those. The shower scrunchy sponge thing, that's not provided, that's my own, I'm just hanging it there. Shelve in there as well for any extras, so if you want, you know, your own shampoos or whatever, place them there. Overall, the, the shower space is actually, it's pretty good. I, I found it fine. Back into the main room. Big mirror here for when you want to get dressed, etc., like that. And individual air conditioning controls. Now, the first night, we had, our air conditioning wasn't working properly. It was very hot in the room. So I called maintenance. They changed the box and they went out and changed a few other things and the aircon came out working and so the air con, I like it quite cool at night so the aircon was working fine for us no problem there's Mrs T over there just having a in an afternoon re relax now onto your beds you've got that's pretty much a mimic of the lights at the entrance way so you've got that main one there uh, you got this one there's a little one for the 
those main lights there and you've got half ah, for a reading light above your bed there last one there bedside table plenty of storage on the top there sorry i've got my earplugs on there and underneath there so you've got my tablet in there a few things in this drawer here i've got nothing in this bottom drawer here but again plenty of storage plenty of storage underneath where i put my suitcase our room's set to double bed you can change it to twin beds if required so please let your steward know if you do board and it's in the wrong configuration we have come across guests before who said they've booked a double bed they've got on board they've had a twin bed they had the whole week on twin beds and they didn't realize that it can be changed so if for some reason they've accidentally changed the configuration just let your steward know it's not going to be a huge issue uh tv i'll come back to the tv in a bit i'll probably yeah i'll do the tv at the end where you can see there's a plug socket under there with my charger there so charging points of room we've got one there one there one underneath there and one here by the kettle so these are all uk plugs uh, this room doesn't have any kind of continental plugs however this i would say this one can fit a us plug uh, anyone from america knows definitely yes or no if you can i know american plugs are like that that's for the hair dryer in the room isn't it mrs t uh, yes yes it is um tea coffee provided that's our own bottle of juice there oh she's going to show me the the plug for the i believe you've got to when you put it in you press down on one of the button bottom buttons yeah yeah that does look like a us plug there so yeah if any any guests coming from america and you might be able to plug your us sockets in there thank you mrs t that's most informative um <coughs> kettle tea coffee and everything's provided not this bottle of juice i always take these along on holiday as well these little squirty squashes any requirements you need if you you know you don't drink dairy milk or you prefer decaf tea decaf coffee whatever let your let your steward know and they will be able to um, accommodate that and underneath is one of my favorite parts of the room you've got your fridge cool box now this is not a very cold fridge you're not going to be putting i wouldn't say put meat or cheese or things like that in there uh, but it's plenty cool to keep things like cans of beer. There's two ca two bottles of gin in there, some orangina, some snacks. You are allowed to bring up to one liter of spirits per adult. So we bought two bottles of gin. These gins were only about half to a third full before we came. These these are just ones we just wanted to finish off. That's why this one's got tape on the top of it just to stop the um, cap coming off in our bags and a bottle of um, tonic water yes this glass here before anyone questions where it came from i have borrowed it from one of the bars i will return it on my last day or i'll just leave it in the room so i keep it in here because i like a nice cool glass with a cool beer um and also it stops the steward taking it out and when he comes to clean the room um, i wouldn't advise on this shelf here putting anything up here this is quite warm so it's more like the vent for the fridge uh, so don't put your chocolate or stuff there or you'll come back and it'll be a very melted chocolate and a stall and a bin provided here and a mirror and as mrs t showed there is a drawer where the hairdryer is provided and because this is a balcony so is it a Dulux balcony or just standard balcony, it's Mrs. Standard T? Standard balcony with a sofa. Standard balcony with a sofa. Sorry, I get confused by some of the room grades because we originally were booked as a standard balcony, which wouldn't have had the sofa, but we won an upgrade. Um, so we got a sofa, a nice small little sofa, which is is okay. It's nice. Sit there, watch a TV, a movie, a table there, coffee table, whatever you want to call it. Blackout curtains which are very good actually. Nice. I don't tend to have them um, shut at night because I do like to watch sailways. Like last night we left Sherbourg at half 11 so I was laying in bed watching the sailway. Door, that, that was locked, now that's open. Uh, this doesn't seem to line up even when it's in the lock position so I won't worry about that. Um, 
Oh, excuse me, that is very heavy. Okay, onto the balcony. Two sun chairs and a table and the view. So currently right now where we are in the world is, that is Dover. We left Cherbourg last night and our next port of call is Rotterdam, the Netherlands. So yeah, we're just passing Dover. So the other side will be Calais. These panels here on each side can be opened up if you are sharing a room next door to you, like friends or family, they, the stewards can open them up so you can share a balcony out. Oh, there is a light just there. Interconnecting. Interconnecting balconies. Thank you, Mrs. T, because she knows far more than I do. Sorry, the light I'm pointing out out there, the light switch for that is there. So you can have a bit of light. To be honest with you, it's actually quite light out here at night. Um, yeah. Right, let's take you to the TV and show you the TV. If I can find the remote it's control. The remote. There's a remote control over here, yeah. I'll just briefly show you the TV. As I've got it on there, I've got it on the navigation channel, like you see, we're on the straight. We're just by Dover, Calais. This one we can zoom out for a change. When we've got it on Iona, we can zoom it in or out. Um, so, our, so we left Southampton on Sunday, we were in Cherbourg yesterday, Sea Day today, Rotterdam tomorrow, Bruges the day after, and then after Bruges it's back home the next day. And it even lists all your arrival, departure time. So we actually had a long time in Bruges, we, uh, we had from 8.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night. And then we got 11 and a half hours tomorrow in Rotterdam and about eight hours there we got in Zeebrugge. Zeebrugge for Bruges. Uh, I've got another video when I went to Bruges uh, last year on the Royal, we actually had exactly the same times, I believe. Um, so, because you can't walk off the port at Zeebrugge, you have to be um, shuttle bus to Blankenberg, which is free, and then you can do what you want from Blankenberg. Uh, I'll quickly view the TV. I am just going to mute it because if I go onto the ship webcam, it has got the radio playing. I don't want to get picked up on any copyrighting for it. There we go. View out the ship's cam. A lot of people who stay in inside cabins have this on all the time. Um, yeah, if you prefer inside cabin than a balcony, we prefer a balcony, something with a view any day the on my holiday as well i'm not going to log into it because it'll bring up our personal details but it brings up how much onboard spending you've got left or how much you've spent the same as you can with the app britannia safety video you have to watch this when you first board uh, so when you first get in your room please 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 watch it it's really important it's all the safety information your steward will double check that you've watched that as well so I know you're excited on your first day, but please watch it for your own safety. And you've got a few live TV channels. I'm not going to go through them all, um, but you do have some pre-recorded films on demand there. Sorry, TV programs, kids TV programs and films there. That's a classic. Aliens, one of my favourite films of all time. Uh, this changes all the time. This was totally different uh, than when we were on Iona last year. And we're on again Britannia later on in the year in September, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is totally different. Well, oh, they got June now, I want to see that. I might watch that later on. Uh, some podcasts, I've not listened to any of them yet, I just haven't. Cruise Radio, Cruise Info. Uh, oh, here we go. I'll show you the senior management team. If anyone sailed with these, these fine people before, then that's who we got on our ship today. When we went on Iona last year, we were sailing with the legend that is Captain Wes. Anyone who's been with him before knows what he's like. And usual um, usual stuff for on that. Anyway, that will conclude my room tour video. So I'll have plenty more videos. If you have liked it, please like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions or comments, please ask away in the comments section. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.